back to <coughs> round two of iRacing.com State of Origin, proudly presented by Demidov Innovations. Jay Kennedy, Daniel Bryant here for round two, the second half from Phoenix International Raceway. G'day, Daniel. G'day, Jay. Good to be here. Good to actually be on a loading screen where I'm about to get in and actually see this. But I'm not happy at all at the moment. I'm pretty sure we've got Jono and Rob here with us. Possibly. All right, you boys there? All right. Jono. Oh, you wait, mate. You wait. Okay, first of all, what are you doing in 24th, mate? Uh, Rob got in the way. And when uh. I tell you, when I come over there and I tell you to cheat, take out Gizzy, because he shouldn't even be racing for Queensland, because he's a Kiwi, and you tap the front of him and then take out a teammate, what's going on there? Well, I was accidentally on purpose. <laughs> We're all about sinister here, look. No, Everyone nice. remembers a winner. <laughs> they don't remember how it happened, all right? So, so just, just make it happen. Okay. Just take them out, all right? Um, Rob, what's yeah. the go, mate? You're meant to be the team of Queensland. You seem to be the team of everyone else except for New South Wales. Like, how many what? Queenslanders are actually what? racing for Queensland? Uh, Western Australia, New Zealand, Victoria, they're all in Queensland, aren't they? <laughs> Close enough. Hey, we, we all support Queensland when it comes to State of Origin, so I guess it's the same, isn't it? Hey, everyone hates New South Wales equally. That's exactly right. Nobody likes New South Wales unless you're from there. This is a bloody joke, And even then, it? they try to get out. Go! Oh, oh, no, no, out of time already. No, no, no. Ah! Here we go. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Hard rolling. Well, I don't think you're going to score as many points, mate, so you might as well yeah, let the rest of the team out and take everyone else out. Good job, mate. Good job. What? Well, it's, it's a Kia anyway. What do these cost to replace these days? About four grand or something you can pick up a Kia for? Pfft. Oh, they're all made out of plastic anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Write it off, mate. It's a milk carton with an engine. <laughs> <laughs> Please send your hate mail to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get any endorsements from, uh, from Kia anytime no, soon. No, no. You're gone. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what are we looking at? A uh, bunch of yobbos trying to get a Kia around the track, and here's someone upside down. <laughs> and here's the... <laughs> it's Richard Hampstead. Yeah, fantastic. Good on you, Richard. He's just practicing for the race. Come on, Brito, take out Kizzy. Come on. Oh, far out. John Oak, can you go up and have a talk to Brito for me? This is a joke. I gave him a half time chat and told him to bring back the beef so I can this time. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Hopefully, they do bring back the beef. Otherwise... Would you love a bit of beef? We don't want too much in an oval race. We actually oh. want to see a bit of racing. Hang on. Have we got have we got uh, safety cars for this one? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, are you serious? Ah. <laughs> oh, What's the referee doing out there? Just trying to show them how it's done. <laughs> oh, come on, Johnny. So we'll have the um, the finishing results of the road race. Oh, we'll start geez. sorry, sorry, the someone positions. played bowling pins at the back here. But, uh, they'll start the position for the oval race. Cautions will be on, and I have a points update at the moment. New South Wales holds a slight 13-point lead at the moment. Yeah, Recount. So, hopefully some of these uh, oval specialists on Queensland can get up. 
Rob? Ah. No pressure then. No, no pressure, pressure at all. They've had to import players drivers from New Zealand just for this event. Yeah, this is this is abs this is a joke. Seriously. New South Wales versus the world. That's <laughs> wrong. Just wrong. So you feeling confident, Dono? You reckon you can do some good times around here, or are you just going to stuff it up like every other race you've done so far? What was that? Sorry, mate. I couldn't hear me. Spotter was telling me that Queensland sucks. <laughs> What's up, I'm mate? surprised your spotter's not telling you that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's just yeah. implied, mate. <laughs> this one's all good. We know where this track goes. It's all goes to the left, apparently. So, there we go. There is just cars on their roof every like I can see the ref involved in that one. Oh here we go. I'm watching the ref now. Yeah, I'm reversing it. Oh that's it. Good job, ref. Good job, you jerk. All right, Jono, go and take some people out, mate, because you're not going to win it. Not a problem. Thanks, mate. Good job. All right, before I make any assumptions about who's actually driving for New South Wales, and I know where this guy lives, and I know it's in New South Wales, Josh Muggleton is racing for New South Wales? Correct, okay. yes. Okay, all right, I'm just making sure because you guys are drawing borderlines in all funny places at the moment, so I'm just making sure that you haven't taken Sydney as well. No. Josh, um... Uh, looks like we got a starting grid here. As before, it's the uh, finishing results of the road race, so... Oh, I'm going out to blimp cam so I can see all the action. <laughs> we got Shane Van Gisbang on a pole with Marlon McMullen sitting beside him. Uh, Nathan Britton, who is an oval specialist for New South Wales in third, and Andrew Wallace. Uh, Simon Black and Matthew Nethercote have the third row with Lindsay Barry and Shannon Wright on the fourth. Uh, Wayne G. Hewitt and Chris Tarrant round out the top ten on the fifth row. Over the page... Uh, we've got Reese Gardner and Luke Emmenden, Blake Coppo and Richard Hampstead. Now, that'll be interesting. Blake's a bit of an oval specialist for the Queensland side, so let's see if he can get himself through. Ronald Holstag and Brett Hender. Josh Muggleton and Dale Niche in 17th and 18th. Jason Spriggs and Scott Griffiths off the 10th row of the group. Uh, then we've got... Ryan D. Day and the sad sack, John O'Barry. <laughs> I guess that's and something then, we both can agree on. <laughs> and then we've got <laughs> a, another oval specialist in Timothy Jackson with Mark Noble starting beside him. Poor old Robert Hartley. Let's hope he, he can move forward. And he's got Craig Doerr behind him. And on the last row of, the, of it, it's Gary Jackson. Alright boys, hopefully I'm right now. Sorry about that guys. Alright, so how long do you reckon till the first safety car? Uh, turn one. Alright, turn one. And I've got a bit more faith in him than that. I'd at least say turn two till John O'Barry catches up to the rest of the <laughs> <What>? pack. <laughs> turn two's just a little kink, so turn two won't be much, but it's a little yeah, turn, anyway. turn one or turn three. Oh, here we go, we're on. Go on, Brito. Are you Brito? And we've got him. <laughs> I haven't actually made it in to see any vision yet, so I'm guessing I haven't miss missed anything.
Alright, I'm finally getting pictures through, sorry guys. Looks like we got the, the car 20. Ryan D. Day getting into the back of John O'Barry. No. Oh, ah, yeah. right. I'm not sure who that Queensland car was there involved too. I can't quite see it there. Car 26. Jason Spriggs. Interesting. What happened there with Shane Van Gisbergen? Did he not take the, the start of the race since he started to start from the pit lane? Is that what I'm guessing has happened? Hearing you know, uh, race directors issued his first black flag penalty, like it, to a New South Wales driver as well, like that too. Ryan Day, end the line penalty, so he will be restarting the race from last position. Ryan Day, that was an unavoidable collision. For him to uh, avoidable away sorry, guys. for his Queensland mates. Or his New Zealand mates, should I say. <laughs> Better make sure our race director gets that right. They're saying avoidable and unavoidable. They're quite different things. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> right, we'll let you off this time. So, Britton, McMullen, Black, Barry, Wallace, Nethercote, Hewitt, Wright, Gardner and... Emerton, the top 10 at the moment. Look at the gains and losses. Britain gaining two, Lindsay Barry gaining three, John Muggleton gaining four, Rob Hartley gaining five, Shane Mac Gisberg and losing 23 positions. Obviously, take the grid, so he's guessing he started from pit lane just to uh, try and avoid that turn one, lap one incident. I think being that close to the front though it wouldn't have happened, but uh, oh well if he wants to try something different, we'll, uh, we'll give it to him. Maybe he's actually upset with how you, you hurt him, you know, saying that he was from New Zealand, didn't deserve to drive for Queensland. I'm sure, Queensland, so, I'm, sure, I mean, I'm sure he's had worse things thrown upon him than that comment. <laughs> probably. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. At least he got away from a Ford. Oh, hang on, did I say that out loud? Jeez. <laughs> Send your hate mail to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if we want to start hate mail, I could really... No, I'm not, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start. I'm, you know, I just believe when you sign something that you stick to it. But. Oh, look. That's just so, nah, shush. <laughs> you know, but you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know, he can't even decide whether he's from New Zealand or Queensland, so. There's a couple of guys that have got a lap down, Ryan Day, Gary Jackson and Craig Dorr, who will be going to the back of the line, or are they being waved around, I'm not sure. Now here they go, waved around the pace car. Alright, looks like our uh, boy Brito back at the Britain front there will resume from P1 so the guys will be getting green flag this time around I believe so they start lining up double file So is that two Queenslanders in the top five there? Right First time in the last two events that we've had three New South Wales drivers in the top five so interesting to see that I'm surprised. That's what we do, Jay. We are. Uh, we live to surprise you. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm not surprised about seeing all these Kias going around. Considering they look like milk cartons, seeing uh, lost children on the side of their cars. I cannot see <laughs> one on there. <laughs> so, yeah, like, what, how, how many? Here we go. There's going to be a bit of teamwork happening on the outside here. I think McMullen and Barry are going to work together. But a good jump there from Nathan Britton. Simon Black as well has got a good run. Good jump there by Brito. Oh, almost contact between McMullen and Black. Actually got a nice little gap here. 
Britain compared to the other guys. Simon Black a little bit further back. Lindsay Barry almost into the back of McMullen and now he's got is that Andrew Wallace tucked right in behind. Nice and close. Oh, oh here comes going. Wallace into the side. A little bit of contact between he and Lindsay Barry and Barry keeps it off the fence. Just what? There's a caution at the back end. Brett Hender. Brett Hender and Rob Hartley. Well, they've been involved. So the captain of Queensland. Big crash. We've been Tim Jackson down on the apron and car 23. Brett Hender got a little bit loose. And uh, straight up the track into Hartley. If you're going to take anyone out, as well as well be the captain. So that'll end Rob Hartley's race. I'm very, very sure. The, the replay just a little bit loose for Hender in turn one. With Tim Jackson up the inside, and Rob Hartley really innocent party in this one. Big collision. We actually got a green flag lap in there, Daniel. That was a, a new lap. record for Phoenix. Here we got a lap and a half, actually, didn't we? Or nearly two laps and a lap and a half. Have another look here on board with Hartley. They are, what they kind of penalty to go. the, the our race control is going to hand out to Brett Hender for that one? May not even be a penalty for that one, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. I'm just reviewing the incident right now. What way you're leaning at the moment? Watching on board with Brett Hender he, at the moment. He's just got a little bit loose and Tim Jackson down on the inside. He sort of had nowhere to go. Yeah, I think that's a racing incident. Two New South Welshmen taking out a Queensland, taking out the Queensland captain, working together. Good teamwork. Daniel, you'll be happy about that teamwork actually happening for New South Wales. I uh, don't think it's got anything to do with uh, teamwork, just sheer dumb luck. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll take luck anyway, you can get it, dumb's usually the best way for you guys. So is yeah, that... yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> come on. You left yourself this, open for that I mean, one? No, well, I mean, when the <laughs> best choice of captain you've got is John O'Barry, you can see where we're going. I was actually talking to him earlier today, and um, he's like, oh, no, you need an in-race commentator. I am said, oh, I'm pretty sure I need a Bogan translator, so I'm more than happy for you to come in to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gains and losses again on screen. Muggles are now up six spots, up to 11th. John O'Barry, he's actually gained seven positions. He's been the biggest mover through the field, so you might want to take it all back, Daniel. Yeah, it's not hard to come from last to make up a couple of positions. <laughs> and Jay Beck is making, of course, the biggest loss at the moment, 19 positions, but he's gaining from where he started effectively after starting from last position. We should see the lights come out on the pace car as they come across the start-finish line. I must say I, I'm enjoying this track a little bit more than uh, that was Ryan Day <laughs> driving through the pace car there as he's coming around with the wave around. Um, at least the pace laps aren't quite as long as they were last week or last time at Pocono. Now, pace car lights are out, so we will see double file restart. The guys starting to come up side by side. Sorry, Daniel. No, I'm just getting ready for this restart. Maybe we can get a uh, two clean laps in before we get a yellow for this one. Let's see. Fingers crossed we'll get a few more than two. Let's try for some green lap running here, guys, eh? And you hear race control. <laughs> Let the guys know he's laying down the law. But uh, only one Queenslander in the top five at the moment. This is a bit of a uh, shock. Not to, uh, to bring back on uh, on previous stories about certain Queenslanders bringing in the dirt. Uh, Marlon's probably used to having blue and red following him, so, you know. Oh, a bit of contact! Who was that? 
Lindsay Barry into the back. Oh, look at that. Bruno again. Nailed that stuff. Nailed it. You let it go. Oh, is the car rolling? Is it is it Ronald? He's upside down in the middle of the track. And we've only wow. not even made it around the first corner. It only takes one. There was <laughs> five wide there. New South Wales drivers into each other. Oh. Trying to work out what actually happened there. He actually jumped up the top of car 51. Got Griffiths and big roll over. It's no one else actually involved in that. Everyone else has got through okay, but big damage from Ronald. Right, I go. Now, I've got a question to ask now that we're on the safety car. If you guys are allowed to pull drivers from Victoria, New Zealand, uh, Western Australia, and um, wherever else you pull them from, can I pull drivers from America? No. no. All right. All right. I've got some boys back in America. Glenn, Peyton, Josh. I'm signing you up for the State of Origin 3 because if anyone can work out how to drive around, are we going in a circle for State of Origin 3? I'm yes, worried. we are. We are at Las okay. Vegas for the next okay. one. Okay, okay. So we're going around in circles. If anyone should be able to drive a car around in a circle, it should be my American buddies over there. So we'll, we'll sign you up. We'll, we'll take all the American drivers um, because you guys can have everywhere else that you seem to take. So I'm <laughs> going to draw my own lines. Now, looking at it, Shane Van Gisberg has actually left the race altogether, so I'm not sure if he's having issues with something or what's happened, but he's out, he's pulled out of the race, so big recruit for Queensland is out. Oh, your star driver's gone. Boom! That's how yeah, we roll. Yeah, interesting. A few guys, are they actually going to pit? No. Ah, bit of well. a... A nice bit spoke of there, mucking Brito. around. Yeah, no, it was pretty obvious he wasn't going to pit, but I wonder if nah. someone else thought maybe we will. I think, mean, didn't you? Speaking about your American friends, I did notice on our Facebook page the guys are rather excited that we've announced that we're broadcasting Truck Series starting next season. They're wanting to get involved, already working out the times to make sure that they're awake in time. Yeah, Truck Series is going to be awesome. Awesome. I'm, uh, I'm pumped for that one. Um, hopefully. Uh, we um no yellows in no cautions in the trucks. Is that right? No, definitely cautions in the trucks. But, ah um, man, races will last anywhere from twenty minutes to forty minutes, depending on it's the length of the cautions. But, uh, yeah, it should be uh should be a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever you'd seen think a track race on board. You'd be a bit squalor with no cautions. Now, Chris Tarrant, EOL penalty, Sanderline penalty. What was that for, Mr. Race Director? Uh, he clearly jumped the start there, even though Reese Gardner got off to a very low, slow start. He went low and was past him before the line. Yeah, Chris Tarrant, you're a jerk. You hear that? Go to the <laughs> back of the line. Had enough. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, Mug Muggleton and Hampstead have moved up eight to ninth now, those guys. Yeah, New South Wales powering through, mate. We might even have to go to round three. We will still be going to round three. Las Vegas for the next one. And uh, the late got model, around I believe three. the car New is South Wales will be able to drive around in reverse, which would probably be better if we were driving Kias. Jeez, <laughs> front wheel drive, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I am uh, waiting for the hate email from Kia right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Just trying I'm to confused. find a replay of Chris Tarrant trying to in the, the jump at the restart. Here we go. Put it on screen now. The Tarrant on the inside there, the car 18. And jumped right up against the fence for four wide. That was, uh, probably deserves a uh, AOL penalty. Gained about seven positions before the caution come out. Muggleton gave him a little bit of a tap too, he wasn't happy about it, so the lights are out on the safety car. Come on boys, let's go green all the way to the end. Yeah, it'd be great. 14 minutes 
green flag over racing. Good fun to watch. Surely by now, and I know these guys aren't the fastest at the moment, but they've learned that they cannot go full wide into a corner. Uh -oh. Talking about New South Welshman, mate. Just had an ad alert. To, to tell you the truth, I'm talking about the whole damn field. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Pace car Come is on, in. Brito. Come on, Brito. Green you know what to do. Marlin, Back him up. That's it. That's it. Go. 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 Come on, Brito. That's it. Oh, we're going three wide a bit back there. That's it. Keep it clean, boys. Keep it together. Richard Hampstead moving a few positions there. Got through. Good run. Clean. McMullen. Trying to get back onto the back of Britain there. Someone run off the track in the off. background yeah. and there's Ooh. a caution. Oh. And something in the background, Berhander again into the fence. And Muggleton. Uh, and race director, um, Brett Hender, I'm sorry to say <laughs> this, great. but we might need to black flag him. We uh... What's happened there to Lindsay Barry? He's, uh, he's running, running up near the front before if we can see Muggleton a little bit loose and the caution's come out then as they've all checked up there's someone slammed the back oh, of Barry who was that? Who John was that there? Is that John Barry? It needs to have oh, cousins aren't they am I right? Suck. So bad John <laughs> hey, oh, well. John O'Barry that's that will be an EOL penalty no doubt for uh for John uh, Barry there. I'm just waiting to see this one be thrown. Obviously, I was, a, I was right, and they don't actually put brakes in Kia's. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't use them then. <laughs> the main, uh, Brett, uh, Brett Hender also had a, a bit of a rollover. He had um, Muggleton into the side of Andrew Wallace just before that. Yep. Yeah, so that caused a bit of a, a back effect. The guys in the inside lane were checking up and Rehanda didn't quite see it right beside Craig door. A little bit of contact in the back of Craig and over goes uh, Rehanda. Just going back to replay, we'll watch that entire lap again. Watch Josh Muggleton. These bit of a moment coming into turn three. I go in six. You legend. Lucky to hold that position because he got massively loose through turn three. Almost looped it around on the inside, and then the caution come out just as he made the move ahead. Bit of, well, actually, sorry, there's a bit of a touch there between he and uh, teammate Andrew Wallace, and then the cautions come out. Just lost the position back to Shannon Wright. If we can see what's happened with Brent Hender. We'll Go back again and have another look. Uh, they're definitely involved if we get another look at that again. Actually on the wrong car there, Seb, you're looking at the wrong car. Look at, need to look at car 23 and have another look at that and you can you'll be able to see. So we've got 10 minutes to go in this race. Seb is new to this, if you haven't known. He's only been doing this about seven or eight months now, so... There you go, now you can see Brett Hender. His unlucky incident into the fence. We go, have another look at it now. Come through turn two. Then we'll go back live now. Yeah, I do believe Race Control has issued a couple of black flags. Yep. John O'Barry? John O'Barry's received one from just not using the brakes. Hey, come on, come on. His care probably wasn't equipped with them. <laughs> His brain. <laughs> they don't go not fast enough that you need to use bloody brakes. And for that reason, why do they have spoilers on the back end? Like, really, what are you trying to keep down? <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, Kia, get real about this. Oh, this has been another entertaining night. As we get ready to go, the guys double file. Andrew Wallace said, looking like he's trying to get a bit of an advantage to get a run. Come on, Brito. Okay. Do it, Here son. we go, you're off. Oh, look at that. Good run. Oh, Black having a look up the inside of McMullen. He won't do it. Oh, really loose and sideways there for Black. That looked a bit scary. Managed to keep it all together. We've got around the first corner. Hey! Guys, oh, we got cars in the fence. Who's that? The Reese Gardner on the outside. No, and the caution's out. There's a car spinning in the background. There's a big pile up in the background. Ronald's involved, Lindsay Barry involved, Ryan Day involved, and Mark Noble involved as well. Big incident that one. Noble still sitting on the track, but I think he just got slammed from behind there, Mark Noble. Ryan Tate as well, bouncing off the wall coming into turn three. Oh, so it's car 20 that's actually caused that, which is Ryan Day running into the back of Mark Noble, and then all hell broke loose after that. So, who oh. reckons we're going to go safety under, we're going to finish this under caution? Well, I hate to say it, but all these guys keep on bagging out, a lot of guys keep on bagging out oval drivers saying it can't be that hard to turn left. But uh, oval racing is not as easy as everyone makes it out to, to appear. Right. Most of us know that, but a lot of guys don't know that oval racing is quite difficult. Yeah, whoever thought oval racing in a bloody Kia would be <laughs> that Kia. hard. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Yeah. Maybe they need to... <laughs> Can't I wait for Wednesday night trucks now? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's give them something with some real power behind it and see how they go. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> can't wait for Wednesday night trucks. You will see. You'll probably see Daniel out on track as well as myself and Sam. Man, we can't wait. Oh, so have we picked commentators for trucks? We will. We might announce that now. Desmond Hallam, you will be uh, head commentator for Wednesday night trucks. Yeah. I... Oh yeah. Thought I might grab the reins for that one. Yeah, That's also awesome. Clayton, Clayton Brooks as well will be joining you for commentary. Yeah, can't wait to have Clayton in the in there with me. Yeah, and Corey will also come along and tag along whenever he can as well to to give you a three man team. So you got something to talk about while we're under caution. Yeah, a lot of talking while we're under caution. <laughs> so pretty much it's going to be that man turn left. Yep, he turned left. He just turned left. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Uh, those trucks are a challenging thing, but I'm sure the drivers in that series are a lot better caliber than what we've got in here. Wow. Have you ever seen Corey try and race a truck? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, but some of these guys are really good. Uh, Brito in the trucks, fantastic. Yeah. Some of these and guys also, are also, Tim Jackson's quite a good uh, over racer. Reese Gardner's been working hard the last couple of weeks to get his over license up high enough to even race trucks, so we'll see him out on track. Hammer picked up a, a win in the Saturday night NASCAR, but that was of course on a road track, but in the Gen 6 car, which is a tough car to drive. I so hear even, um, drive. even our own Sandman's keen for that one. Sandman, very, very good oval racer. He's very, very accomplished oval racer, so Sandman will be there every week. And Blake Coppo as well, we'll see him out of track. I know yourself and myself, Des, when we race the Saturday night NASCAR, we see Blake quite often do very well. I don't even be able to get out. I know Gizzy likes doing the rounds in the truck, so yeah, could be a bit of fun. Oh. Jono Barry, we've actually had the the flag staying out for another lap. Jono Barry's cleaned up the pit wall. <laughs> this is what is he doing? What has he done? Can we like <laughs> actually put in a vote for our team captain for the next oh, round? What was that? This is a joke. He didn't even try to stop. Can you please issue uh, John O'Barry with a black flag, please, Mr. Uh, Race Director? I don't think it'll matter because I think he's, he's that far back in the field now, it's not going to matter. <laughs> John O'Barry's now been disqualified, I like it. There we go. It's 
get the one to go this time around. Hopefully we'll stay green. Hopefully they can do it for three minutes. So who's that NASCAR saying wreckers or checkers? So I believe all the, the wreckers are out and the checkers might still be out on track, hopefully. What are we going to? We're probably going to get about right, two laps caution, in boys, here but you have done it for yourself. Racing, if this goes right. Five laps. Five laps. Yeah, four or five laps, depending on how long there is. So hopefully we don't get another caution. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. we go around the final corner hopefully we'll get green for the rest of this race three minutes to go on the clock here we go come on Bruno you know what you're jump doing from Britain. again you can absolutely nail those starts black will get up on the inside of that's where you want to McMullen, be. McMullen, and that'll be one and two That's it. Come on, New South come Wales. On. Come on, come on, get around him. McMullen's got a better run there. That's how mine's oh. to be. Not leaving him a lot of room. Shots Up the, the back there, off. we're going. Oh. Coming a little bit. Oh, look oh, at the back here. Oh, he's been contacted the back. Another car in the fence. Ryan Day's okay, in the Rick. fence. Oh, Ryan. And we're still green. We're still green. That's good, good, good to good, see. Good. Go Keep back to going. the front. Britain's put a six tenth of a second gap, and here comes that Shannon Wright up the inside Simon of Simon Black. Black. Shannon Wright, come on, Simon. Hold, hold that position, mate. You've Tough done well. Have to be on the outside through turn three here. He's going to get this done, but it looks like Richard is coming here up. Here comes Hampstead, well. yeah. He's powering through. Muggleton's closing up as well. He'll get Simon Black here down the straight. Simon Black's been left out to dry. He's yeah, to get him wall. down there. Nah, Muggler's not going to leave him any room. He's right on the outside there. This is how oval racing should be. This is how. Uh, I'm going to say these cars don't go much faster than a Hot Wheels car, so you should be able to get this <laughs> on the track. Look at the four New South Wales cars. They're just closing that Queensland car in there. Not 100% sure who that is. Might be Blake Copper. Car number 30. And close. Oh, a little bit further oh, back. Andrew bit Wallace. between Andrew Wallace and Blake Coppo. What we like to see. Keeping it clean, guys. All oh, those blue cars. Don't like seeing that. It's almost. Oh. Zero two and Tim Jackson. Almost Look at that the gap that Bruno has opened up. Seven nailed it. Side by side down the front straight between Shannon Wright and Marlon McMullen. Oh, there's contact! Oh, Wright's just held it. Keep it clean, keep it clean, boys. Hold your line there, Marlon. I need to do with something about this Marlon fella. Looks like uh, team speakers completely dropped out, guys. So I'm hoping I'm still broadcasting right for you. But what a great! Oh, we've got a car around the wall up at turn three. Oh, there's a spinner as they come, come to back. the checkered yeah. flag. Shannon. Nathan Briggs, great drive. Nine tenth win. What Shannon a run Wright. by Shannon there, but for oh, Marlin on that end run there. Oh, Which amazing. Lost a fair bit at the end of that, that was all, That was pretty much worth it. 25 minutes under safety car. <laughs> Great drive at the end there from those guys. There's wrecking everywhere in the background. Yeah, there's an after siren biff going on. We'll hopefully get the points very soon, but we'll run through the race results for this race.
Nathan Britton picking up the win for New South Wales. I believe is that New South Wales' first actual win in this series. Oh, hang on. How many points are you leading by? Oh, that's right. No, no. I'm talking about race wins. I no. It's all about the points, buddy. It's all about the points. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it is all about the points, you're right. Nathan Britton wins from Shannon Wright. Marlon McMullen, Josh Muggleton got himself up to fourth. Blake Coppo, fifth position. Richard Hampstead, sixth. Tim Jackson in seventh. Matt Wallace in... Oh, sorry, Andrew Wallace in eighth. Matt Nethercote in ninth. Dale Nish in tenth position. Wayne Hewitt in eleventh. Rob Hartley, twelfth. Simon Black, Luke Emerton, thirteenth and fourteenth. Then Reese Gardner, Chris Tarrant, Craig Dorr, uh, Jason Spriggs for Queensland. Then Scott Griffiths, Ryan Day, Lindsay Barry, Mark Noble, Ronald Holtsteg, Dono Barry, Brett Hender, Gary Jackson, and Shane Van Gisbergen. That was a lot of fun again. Definitely was a lot of fun. Um, did Hampstead win Pocono Oval? I can't remember. Oh, Possibly that's did. right. Yeah, just fucking... Oh, blank out those memories. Whoa. Beep. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, state of origin. Trucking. Trucking. Truckin'. Yeah, that's right. Trucking. Good, good work. <laughs> now, we'll hopefully have the results for the overall very, very, very soon. <laughs> I've lost it now. <laughs> Tessie is still there, mate. Yeah, just working out the points now, gentlemen. Beautiful. So we'll have a result very, very soon. But I believe the next one will be three weeks' time, I'm fairly sure. Of course, the, the Tuesday before the real-life state of origin. That's right. Be our That's next right. event. So we're just sitting here waiting for the points to come in now to find out who's actually going to win state of origin tomorrow. Um, because we know <laughs> that this all leads into that. We That's already right. know that. Yep. I mean, we might only have the science from one round that backs up that fact. But <laughs> one's that, enough. That's all you need. One's enough. That's enough to start a conspiracy yep. theory. Anyway, yep. This is going to go global. If you want to see who's going to win State of Origin the next day and put your money on someone and like make a killing, follow what we do, and then you'll see. <laughs> so, <laughs> What's swearing and appropriately? Not... Is that what you're saying? No, I said trucking. <laughs> All right. Jeez, mate. Oh. I don't know what you heard. Obviously, obviously, trucking is a bad word in Mexico. I don't know. Ah, oh, like man. Shower. I was going to say it's like already ten o'clock, but it's not. I've got a minute. <sighs> yeah, trucking is a bad word, Dan. You just like shower and water. <laughs> shower, water, work. I, hey, that's a hard one to get by. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, have we got the points yet? <laughs> Come on, someone get us the points. This is, this is just getting brutal. Uh, this is is just it close, turn. Des? That's what we want to know. Is it close? Des is probably too busy crying because he's seen how far out New South Wales is actually uh, to say <laughs> you can't, it. Can't even rig the points. Yeah. Radio. <laughs> All right, let's go for the points, right? I was going to get the captains in, but I can't even get them in now. I think they're too busy fighting with each other, aren't they? I think Jono's explaining to Lindsay exactly what happened. <laughs> 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 well, after the two races, New South Wales again take out tonight. So the series winner, New South Wales. Well done, New South Wales. What was the final score for tonight? Uh, it was 261 points to 309, so... Go last time. So congratulations, New South Wales. We Smashed you. The first ever Demi Dom Innovations iRacing.com state of origin. Well done, New South Wales. Of course, we still will have round three in a couple of weeks' time. Yep. We're going to do round <laughs> yeah. three just for, for S and giggles. So, <laughs> geez, guys, like, seriously, you suck. You just can pull drivers from whatever, wherever you want and you still suck. We might have to As drive it the next suck. <laughs> Yeah, you suck. Uh, congratulations to New South Wales for winning. <laughs> I've lost it. Take it away, I feel like Dan. coming over to New does, South Wales um, now, Jay. Yeah, guess what? We don't want you. Your work ethic sucks. Does anyone sucks. have a man of the match for us? Oh, yeah, man of the match. While, uh, while we have got still live, do we have a man of the match from our spectators? I think probably would have to be 
Brito for mine. Brito did an awesome job in controlling the race under caution. So Also the first race as well, did a great job coming through the field. Shannon Wright as well, did a great job. Correct. <laughs> Lindsay Barry did a good job until he was taken out. Which I think was rather harsh for the, uh, the New South Wales captain for taking him out. He knew that the Man of the Match award may have went that way. Can we get the New South Wales captain online? Oh, yeah, I... let's, let's get him in here. He's probably swearing, but let's get him in here. <laughs> Jono, I've already... Jono, it's okay. Um, I've already dropped, a, dropped some, um, some no uh, swearing, explicit Jono. words. That's all I'm going to say. No swearing. <laughs> We've already way past our quota of swearing tonight. So, so After how... I got disqualified, I heard all the swearing when I was watching the sensational <laughs> broadcast you guys are doing. Sensational. <laughs> So um, how how much did you have to actually suck up after that race to Lindsay? Well, how that's what happens when somebody when a Queenslander jumps on the brakes in front of you under caution. Hey, but oh, okay. what about the New South Wales driver that jumped on the brakes in front of him? Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, just to confirm to the good guys out there, Kias actually do have brakes. No. No. They <laughs> have brake just... lights. <laughs> Oh, is that all they do? Turn on a nice flashing light at the back. I, did, I never thought they went that fast that you'd need them. So Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to send you two Hot Wheels cars, Jono, so you can practice going around the track because it's about the same speed as a Kia. <laughs> hey, two-time winning captain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, we're never going to get a Kia endorsement. Don't count. Uh, Kia proudly supporting the badge online. <laughs> Uh, uh, we need to decide on a man of the match, Des. Who's your man of the match? I think it's got to go to Marlon. He he got second in the road race and uh, well deserved third in the uh, oval. So, yep. I'm gonna say that you're gonna have to give it to Marlon because it's about time you Queenslanders won something. So, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Marlon McMullen is officially now voted man of the match. <laughs> Out of Shannon the match for the losing and, team. Good and job. Nathan Britton. <laughs> very, very close. Equal second, we'll say, because those guys did a great job as well. So congratulations to Marlon for getting man of the match tonight. Now, Rob, a night to forget for your team. Obviously, you're retiring as captain after this state of origin. You never want to be captain again. Why would I do that? Go, go down <laughs> fighting. Of course, yeah, no, no, course no. having said that, I, I won't be at game three. Um, it's got nothing to do with losing these two games. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing, just everything. He's moving yeah. to New South Wales. <laughs> yeah, I am actually. I'm, it's all I'm right. I'm pretty sure we've got a position, Rob, anyway, for uh, for New South Wales captain. Although we might have won, it was no thanks to Jono. <laughs> you suck, you jerk. That team still wins. I'm not even in the server. Yeah. <laughs> just, the captain's in the sin bin and you still win the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Heats, guys. It's been a lot of fun. We'll be doing this again in a couple of weeks' time, but our next broadcast will be Thursday night for Thursday Night Grand Am from 8.45 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, Daniel, for joining us. No worries, and guess what, guys? I will not be there for Thursday night, so you don't have to worry about cursive language or me abusing Jono. So, Jono, you suck. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's always fun to be here and always um, fun to be a part of, and... You know what? We get to stress less for the next one because you guys got smashed by New South Wales, so suck it. That's yeah, right. It's all, it's all on. It's all <laughs> on. Queensland will win tomorrow night, and that's all that matters. No, they won't. We won the fight. No, no, you can't. It doesn't doesn't work like that, mate. V8 Online <laughs> has set a standard that if New South Wales wins tonight, then we're just going to back it up with Wednesday night. So, if it Jono, actually, if, if you're it a gambling actually happens, man, if Jono, it actually you're a gambling happens, man. people won't actually believe that. Tush. Jay, there's science to back this up. <laughs> so last round we won, and straight after that, obviously, we inspired them to win on Wednesday night. So, Jono, if you're a gambling man, go and put all your life savings on New South Wales to win tomorrow. I've got 500 bucks on Queensland. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, that doesn't your surprise me. the window. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know what? You're an idiot, so I wouldn't trust you anyway. So, everyone, there you go. Put all your money on New South Wales because Jono doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this has not been a paid endorsement by V8 Online or any gambling Thanks company. to our sponsors, Kia. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if you're in the need of uh, some used milk cartons, give them a buzz. Uh, oh, thanks, thanks to Demidov Innovations. <laughs>
<laughs> to, our, to, our, to the real supporters of this, Demi Dove Innovations, thank you so much for um, putting this on, and I hope you have no official ties with Kia. <laughs> thank you, Jay. <laughs> That's okay, Reese. Um, thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks, Des, for all your work behind the scenes too, mate. Well done. Ah, thank you, guys. Thanks, Seb, also for taking over while I was having all sorts of technical issues. Thanks also, Des, as well, for jumping in and helping out too. Thanks, as you said, to Demi Dove Innovations. And uh, we might wrap it up. Thanks again, Daniel. Thanks, Dave. We'll be back Thursday night for Thursday Night Grand Am presented by Track Racer, your winners of the first ever State of Origin for iRacing.com presented by Demidov Innovations, New South Wales. Go the Blues. Hey.